Okay, so here's the problem. We've been told about two shapes, A and B, they're mathematically similar. We're told that the volume of B is 405 cm cubed. We have to work out the volume of A. And all we know is that the ratio of their areas is four to nine. So this is a volume, area, length, scaling problem. Okay, and this is how you do it. Write it out like this. We have A and B and we know that the area ratio is four to nine. And what we're gonna do is work out the length ratios and then the volume ratios, okay? Now, I know it's not asked about length in this question, but write this down anyway, it's important. We have to find the volume of A, but we're going to work out the length ratios first. And by length, what I mean is just some one dimensional property of A and B. It could be the length of one of the sides, it could be like the height or the depth, it doesn't matter. It's just some one, one dimensional property. Area is two dimensional, volume is three dimensional, length, I've, I've called it length, it's just some one dimensional property. We're going to work out the ratio of, let's say, if you looked at the same side on both A and B, then that would be, it would be the length of that side, but it could be any of the sides on both A and B. Okay, right. When you know what to do, it's quite simple. You just do it like this, okay? To go from the area to the length ratios, you just take the square root, okay? So we're going to square root these two. The square root of four is two and the square root of nine is three. So straight away, we know the ratio of the lengths of the sides of A and B, okay? And now, once we know that, we can work out the ratio of the volumes of A and B. You simply cube these numbers, okay? So you've got the number and you just cube it, okay? I'll write cube. Okay, so what's two cubed? Well, it's two times two times two, which is eight. What's three cubed? Three times three times three is 27, okay? And that's it. That's how you find the ratio of the volumes of A and B. So likewise, if you were handed a similar question, but maybe they gave you the volumes, okay, and you had to find out the areas or something, to go from the volume to the length, you do the opposite. If you go from there to there, you cube it, but if you go from there to there, you would take the cube root, okay? Likewise, going from area to length, you square root, but going from length to area, you would square it. As you can see, three squared is nine, or well, the cube root of 27 is three, okay? Right, so we have the ratio of the volumes of A and B, and we know that the volume of B is 405, okay? So that is 405 cm cubed. And we have to find the volume of A. So let's call it, let's call it A, okay? Right, so now we're going to use our skills of converting ratios into equations. And you do it like this. 827 is what we want to 405. What you do, you just put an equal sign in there put a dividing line there and a dividing line there. And straight away, we have an equation. What we've got is eight over A is equal to 27 over 405, okay? So that's how you go from ratios to an equation. Equal sign, line, line, and you've got it, okay? Now we just need to solve this and we've got A. So. 
Let's bring the a up here, multiply both sides by a, and bring the 405 up here by multiplying both sides by 405. I'll do that all at once. So we get eight times 405 equals 27 times a. And now we'll divide both sides by 27. So we get a equals eight times 405 over 27. Right, how are we going to do this? This is a non-calc paper. We have to do it in our heads. Right. Well, eight, three doesn't go into eight, but three goes into 27. Two doesn't go into 27, it does go into eight, so that's not very convenient. Let's look at 27 and 405. We know that three goes into 27, it's three nines. Does three go into 405? There's a little trick you can use to work out if a number is divisible by three. Just add up all the digits, and if that number is divisible by three, then the original number is divisible by three. Four plus zero plus five is nine, therefore 405 is divisible by three. So let's divide 405 and 27 by three. Okay, so, well, 27 divided by three is nine. Three into 405 is gonna be, well, 100 times three is 300, that leaves 105, and 35 times three is 105. So it's 135. Okay, slightly better. Same thing again, is this divisible by three? One plus three is four plus five is nine. Yes, it is. So we divide that and that by three again, and we get eight times something over, well, Nine divided by three is three. Three into one, three, five. Uh, three into 120 is 40, that leaves 15, so it's 45. Okay. And now we can do it because I can do 45 divided by three, it's 15. So it becomes eight times 15, which is Eight times 10 is 80, five eighths is 40, 80 plus 40 is 120 centimeters cubed. Okay, so there we go. A is 120 centimeters cubed. And that's how, it, how you do it. Write it out like this, and you flip between length, area, and volume by squaring, square rooting, cubing, cubed root. And that's it. And yeah, converting from ratios to equations, you've got it written out like that in ratios. Stick an equal sign in, line, line, and that's how you turn it into an equation. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click the like button and it would be a massive help if you could subscribe. It would also be amazing if you could support me on Patreon. All the papers and everything are on my website, drgem.com and I'm also on social media. Thank you.